from Vinta 61 Star House. I feel like we had some kind of live glitch. So give us a thumbs up if you can hear us uh, because apparently there was no sound on our last video, um, which is odd. So I can't even imagine what it would look like while I was pointing to things and talking and you didn't know what I was saying. So that's kind of fun. Um, Isabel has given us the thumbs up. Can you hear us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we should be good. So welcome to our home for the holidays with Vintage 61 Storehouse. We have something really special. Um, we kind of touched on it a little bit when we did our last live in the English Cottage. Um, but today we kind of themed our live around a Hudson Bay blanket. So if you have questions or comments about anything we talk about on this video, feel free to comment and Miss Lori will let me know and I will try and answer them. But Hudson Bay Blanket, I hope all of you are familiar. If you are not, uh, they are made in England and they are fabulous. You can get them vintage. You can buy them new. Uh, but the colors are amazing. That's what's on. This is Miss Kathy's, um, her very own. So they... Um, you can, like I said, this is a vintage one, obviously. Um, so the green, the red, the yellow, and the indigo stripes uh, make this kind of their signature look. So when you kind of see them out there, it's like that Hudson Bay themed blanket. Not all of that, that's a, a company. Uh, I feel like some people use that and um, I don't know, don't think, but it is an actual company. Other people duplicate what they do, but uh, this one is an actual real Hudson Bay blanket. Uh, your stripes on there let you know what size the blanket is. So if you see one with the four stripes, it's a big blanket and you should get it. So go to your thrift shops and your auctions and maybe you can snag one. Because they're kind of a little bit expensive. Miss Kathy would like one for Christmas. So if you want to mail all of us here at Venture 61 a Hudson Bay blanket. Or if Hudson Bay is watching, uh, they should send us a Hudson Bay blanket. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> because we are definitely promoting it. So just tag them away in this video. Um, so that's where we're at with uh, what we're doing here. So at Vintage 61, which is located in Pennsylvania, it's chilly here. So our winters are, you know, a little cold. We get snowstorms and all that good stuff. Uh, so we love the idea of Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint being able to paint inside. There are some changes that are going on uh, with Miss Mustard Seed as far as some new products coming out, some new colors that we're going to have, um, and a new formulation which we're super excited about. So I kind of wanted to touch on that a little bit um, before we get into all of the different things that we did here today for you. Um, I have a cheat sheet because I can't remember things. Um, but the pro the new milk paint formulation, eco-friendly, non-toxic, all natural, 100% organic. Uh, I know as a mom or, you know, those are things that are super important. Uh, it allows us at the shop to paint back here in a, in a closed in space. We're not dealing with, um, fumes or anything like that. So it's very important. And I know it's very important to all of you to be able to just paint a piece of furniture right where it is. So keep that in mind when you're picking the paint that you're going to use for your product. Miss um, Mustard Seeds Milk Paint has all of those safe features, so we definitely recommend. Uh, it's also biodegradable and compostable, and it is food contact safe. So that's a new thing. So that means you're going to be able to bring the milk paint into your kitchen space. So butcher blocks and the tops of tables, all of those things now it kind of opens up a whole new ball field as far as. Um, People that do all that stuff, that make the cutting boards, um, that refinish tables, now all of a sudden, food contact safe, that's a little different. So charcuterie boards, all those things, um, you'll be able to use um, the paint with. So super important, um, so I hope that's important to all of you. Uh, they also are coming out with an eco-friendly wax. As we all know, when we paint with milk paint, we need to seal it with something. Uh, it's either a wax or a hemp oil or some kind of top coat. Um, so an eco-friendly wax helps us seal and cure the milk paint, but then that also, it's food contact safe with that as well since they're, they're adding that. Um, it, so they're telling me uh, the company that doesn't even contain the slightest amount of solvent, mineral oil, VOCs, it is food safe wax, entirely plant-based and vegan friendly. So cutting boards, wooden spoons, serving stuff, all 
now in the playing field as far as you know what what we're going to show you today in using the paint now is that a new formulation or is that always been new. that way yeah, yeah. so Everything's all of this new. stuff is a new a new deal um I mean, we're always super excited to have partnered with Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint. We've carried it at the shop forever. Uh, but now having all of these new things that make it um, food safe and taking out all of the toxins and VOC completely free, that's a that's a game changer. Um, as we all know, in, ingesting all of that, you know, stuff causes major health problems. So not having any of those worries and, you know, having my own kids in the shop all the time. Uh, those are things, obviously, that are super important to me as mom, uh, and I'm sure to you guys as well. And they're even doing a higher quality hemp oil. Yes. So lots and lots of changes. I actually talked to Chris. Um, I'm hoping to do a live based around all of the new stuff so that we can, uh, you know, spend time together and, and talk about all the new stuff. Uh, the new wax sets up in 24 hours and fully cures in a few days. And once it sets, it is water resistant and it's washable. So that's also a big thing. Um, having a washable surface that you can clean, um, yeah, big, big deal. So all of these things, super important. Um, and I hope that, you know, I'm giving you some kind of information that you didn't necessarily have before. Uh, we got crafty before we got online here, and uh, we redid one of these rusty old bells into a Hudson Bay themed bell. And I'm gonna be going through milk paint with you, um, and we're gonna do a Hudson Bay themed trunk. Uh, when you're coming home for the holidays, it's always like that warm and cozy, and obviously a wool blanket means all of those things. Uh, at Vintage 61 Storehouse, we are getting ready for our favorite things, uh, which is December 4th. So we have, what do I want to say, procured, found, all the things that we would like to get for Christmas. And we have stowed them away in the back. And uh, we're going to bring some of the, all of that December 4th. So you're going to be able to come in here. You're going to be able to buy all the people on your list. Super cool stuff that you can't find anywhere else. So that's what we're working towards and actually um, we incorporated the Hudson Bay because when we came up with the idea to do a Hudson Bay um, themed live, we thought, well, we can't bring Hudson Bay blankets in here because nobody's going to buy them because they're expensive um, in our, here with us. But we found these baby alpaca blankets and they're so soft and everyone needs them. And no um, baby alpacas no were baby harmed. No baby alpacas were harmed. Um, it's just their fun. Um, but they're really soft and super on point as far as decor, right, mm -hmm. Kathy? Very much so. So any of these, and we got we got in a bunch of different styles to go with. That's a bunch. just a sample of them. There's yeah. a number we of them. So uh, you'll be able to come in December fourth and and purchase some uh, alpaca blankets. I'm in love with the green one and the one below. Yeah, there's some really pretty ones. So eighty nine dollars, and they're big, so queen size. So mm -hmm. that's that's a decent size blanket. That's a total cozy on the couch with that's your right. with your buddy. That's a lot of cozy. Blanket. That's a lot of cozy. Cozy yeah, going up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so milk paint. Obviously, that's why we're here. Um, so this chest in front. We have, what do we paint on top? Because I wasn't here. It's linen. Linen. So linen is the base. Um, and just like the Hudson Bay blanket, um, that would probably be the closest is linen, to uh, what we put on the top. And then the bottom of the trunk is uh, typewriter. So that is their black. If we wanted to use indigo, we would have done Artissimo, which is, um, it's almost black. It's like really deep navy. Um, I have everything already mixed up. I don't. Lori, Miss Lori didn't. She's wearing um, some kind of, I don't know, really weird hat Look on her head. Camera. I feel like it's slightly <laughs> Amish. I don't know. <laughs> she looks delightful. I wish she would come on camera with us sometimes. Um, so the colors we're going to use uh, doing the trunk are a mustard seed yellow, which is right up there as one of my favorites. It's this a mixture. Nice. It's Luckett's and Eulalie Sky. Ah, Miss Lori yeah. getting back to you. Yeah, there. yeah. So this is a mixture of Luckett's and Eulalie Sky. And then, of course, this is Tricycle, which is always perfect red. Uh, and then we have Typewriter in this bucket here. So mixed up, did you put Bonnie Agent in here? I did. Okay. 
So we, well, we mix. What a, I feel like you should all repeat this on the other side of the phone. <laughs> um, we mix one part water to one part powder, and then the bonding agent is whatever those two are together. So one scoop of water, one scoop of powder, two scoops of bonding agent. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and as I always say, super easy. If you have not painted with milk paint, that is super easy to mix up. And then painting, it can't get any easier than what we do here. I almost was gonna just paint a line and it wasn't gonna be the right color. And then Miss Kathy would have been like, well, now you're gonna have to redo that. Um, so we're gonna put typewriter on the first, um, first line here. So milk paint, mix it as you're painting because all of the pigments settle to the bottom. So super important, I just keep my uh, whisk in there. And then painting, super easy. I feel like when I do it, it always looks super easy. So I feel like all y'all should be running out. So Chris was just talking about how she, it's totally worth it to come here and that she drove 14 hours. Yeah, so I'm waiting Chris to like pop out of like some <laughs> section of this store, but I guess she's not here from Illinois this time because it's super delightful to have her. Is here she with on the us. live? She is. She is yeah. on the live. Um, so she yes, she drove here last uh, when we did our tour of uh, before our holiday open house and uh, drove here from Illinois and she got to hang out here and actually came to our holiday open house. And I know some of you that watch uh, came to our holiday open house as well, and it was a great day, super successful, and we are so thankful, you know, for everybody that, that made the trip. Uh, I'm gonna slip around to the other side, maybe, maybe I will. Help, Kathy, help. I can't wait uh, to show all of you what this looks like. So when you see it, you kind of see, um, you know, where it starts and stops. So I'm a big one to go across the whole entire thing. It'll dry super fast and you'll be able to keep, what am I doing? Yellow. This yellow. Um, continue on. <laughs> this one's a little thick. It kind of looks like mustard, <laughs> but it'll go on good and not all. It should, uh, back. Sorry. Phone calls. This is mustard seed yellow, and it is fabulous and great coverage. So now I kind of I, I kind of mixed it a little thicker because I nice. thought of that, yeah. And the the other one was already mixed, so. Yeah, no, this is, but I, I, feel I felt like, like it was gonna great consistency okay, for good. what we're doing. Um, and like I said, you're gonna be able to breeze. Green is last. Put that down, Laura. Put it down. Nobody wants to. Good thing, good thing Kathy's here, right? Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> so, all of you, we have created an event on Vintage 61 for our holiday gift giving. So, if you want to stop over to our page um, and go into our events on there, uh, we have done our gift giving event in there. If you want to come and hang out with us for the day. The things are pretty awesome. Lori has seen some of them. They're cool, right? Very cool. What we have yes. for um, gifts. We always try and figure out things that you wouldn't be able to get anywhere else. So I feel like we've done a pretty good job of that this year. So I'm excited to bring all of that stuff out. So super easy. And if you have a Lori that mixes up your paint before you get here, because you're picking up your kids, so very handy if you can find yourself one of those. But you can't have mine. Find yourself a Lori. <laughs> find yourself a Lori. But not mine. Oh. Lori, a British word for something. Is it? A I Lori I is like a trolley or something? No idea. Now I have to research. <laughs> a trolley. A Lori. Is it? it's, uh, it's ringing a bell. I don't know about this Lori trolley nonsense. So, what does everybody have as questions? What is everybody doing to make, hi, Chris. Their, <laughs> hi, Chris, make their holidays um, special at their house? Because that's kind of what we went with. We did a home for the holidays idea um, and kind of, you know, you have kids coming home, you have your parents staying over, 
what makes things super cozy. Obviously, they need an awesome blanket. Okay, that's one coat, but it's, it's gonna look really awesome. Yeah, it's looking pretty vibrant fast. on camera. Does it? Yes. I mean, that red is really a true red. It is, it's a pretty it's red. Like if you've gorgeous. never used tricycle, and I know people, we've said this a couple times, that people get scared of using red in their home decor, but we use it all the time. All the time. And it's great. And it works with so many different things. I don't know why people shy away from it. But anyway, so that is us painting with the fabulous milk paint. So um, Laura, how can we utilize this in our home? Well, for one, we're gonna finish this trunk, which is not going to happen at this particular moment. But when this trunk is finished, it's going to go at the foot of a bed. Uh, we decided that home for the holidays meant you had lots of people visiting and it would translate really well into a guest bedroom, which is what we did over here. So it's a perfect um, guest bedroom feel. We've had our vendors ask if they could spend a night um, at the Vintage 61 Hudson Bay uh, Airbnb. So I think we're gonna be renting out this space real soon. <laughs> this is what we came up with. Obviously we have used typewriter a lot in here and then we have accessorized with the other colors on the trunk, on the artwork, on the bells. That'll work its way into the room. Um, I just got this blanket. Weird, because we come up with these ideas and then I did an auction last night and this blanket was one of the items. It's not a Hudson Bay blanket, um, but it does have that theme. So you're gonna run across a lot of that um, where they have the same colors, it's just not made by the same company. Um, so super awesome. And those Hardy Boy books, if you haven't noticed, they are super awesome. And I was really excited when I got them. Um, that's one of the awesome parts of um, our job when we get to find these really cool things and that definitely evoke, you know, these memories and things. Um, but I'm going to turn it over to Kathy and all about how to prepare a guest bedroom because I can guarantee that some of y'all have people coming to stay over and I feel like making them a cozy little space is super important. And take it away, Kathy. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about this out fire. Hello! Um, Hudson Bay blankets are a part of the history in my family. Uh, my grandfather immigrated from England. Uh, some of his brothers settled in Canada. He settled in the States. And um, give you an idea how long ago this was, they all fought in World War I. So um, my grandparents always had a cottage up in Canada and my mother grew up going to Canada for the whole summer. And the cottage they had was very primitive from our standards today. It was beautiful, it was cozy, but it had a pump in the sink, it had a potbelly stove, and my grandmother would get up early on a Canada summer mornings are cold, and on Trent River, Ontario, uh, she would get up and she would light the stove and get it nice and cozy for everyone. But guess what they all had on every bed? Hudson Bay blankets. It's the signature of our family. So when I first started getting like really crazy about wanting one again, my mother's like, oh my God, it's Canada. It's wonderful. I turn around, she has gifted me a queen size brand new Hudson Bay blanket. I have the brown one with the black stripe, which is their anniversary one, which is their 350th anniversary. These go way back. When you look at old, illustrations of trappers and the people that really um, settled into the West in this country and in Canada and trapped furs and pelts and traded with Indians. They are wearing Hudson Bay coats, Hudson Bay mittens. Uh, I'm sure Shackelford, it was up in the ice with, with Hudson Bay on. Um, so these are some of my treasures, this red piece here and the one you saw over there. And um, they, they just make you feel cozy and warm. I want to point something out in this room that really makes it. People don't think about it, but black is an amazing Christmas color. It 
sets off red beautifully. You pop in some greenery. Uh, we have one vendor here. Man, she just has blacks and reds and greens. And you just look at it and go, why does that feel so rich? It's the black. And typewriter is an amazing black. It's one of my favorite paints along with tricycle. So what are some of the things that we did that make this that cozy room? And if you're a grandparent that always has grandkids sleep over, this is the type of space where you can tell stories, you can play games. Um, like she mentioned, we have almost complete set. Almost. Almost of, of the Hardy Boy books. Well, they just make a great art wall to begin with, and then you can just bring them out. Um, we have little old-fashioned candy dispensers and light bulbs and little canes that go on Christmas trees. Um, enamel cups, which would be very fitting for the time. Old set of red skis and an old sled. All that got, stuff you can bring in from the outside. I feel like people don't do yeah, that enough. Like that's if you, so true. Well, yeah. Look at this chair. That's an old vintage outside chair, this little wooden one. And of course, we've Your got grandpa's some, pants. These are not right. <laughs> my grandfather was much heavier than that. <laughs> but um, just finding these little wool pieces and the the hunting, um, what would you call it? Culture. Yeah, the yeah, hunting I mean, element. I think there's a, there's a lot of. I'm telling you, my dad had had a, had a pair of pants just like that. Just like yeah, it. just yeah, like you that. see the coat sometimes. So we did little things like bring in vintage looking. Um, Christmas items and um, pillows and but here's what if you do not have access to these or you look at them they, they go for a couple hundred dollars as vintage and you're like I'm just not doing that Buffalo plaid does the same thing something very current has that hunter quality feel um, and then oh I threw in a little daisy BB gun because we know the uh, classic story. So, um, what else do you want to talk about? Do you want to put that at the foot of the bed so they can get I a... I mean, no, I don't. It's not finished. <laughs> okay, it's not finished. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, what other things? Okay, you're, Kathy is uh, the best party planner, which is why we put her in charge of uh, Friends Christmas. Um, but what other things, if you're having a guest over, are things that, yep, totally need to do that? Well, in my house, there are certain staples. Um, and the, my most frequent are my adult children. So I have a nightstand that has a little sliding door. Inside are all bottled waters. I have some McCoy pottery at the side of the bed filled with, uh, what are those little candies in the gold wrappers? Oh, where there's original. No, no, no. no. Uh, the chocolate ones with the little nuts. Oh, it sounds like a French name. Well, I don't know. Whatever Rush. it is, you should bring us some. Um, so they should feel like this is their domain. They should have full comfort when they come in. Um, I've done things like had fresh pajamas waiting for them. I think this time I'm expecting them all Saturday. I'm going to have um, a novel, a, a book for each of them. Um, my son, I think. I can't give it away. He might watch this. But, you know, it's something in their taste. And just have a nice hardcover book with a bow. And that's another thing. I have glass cabinets in my guest room that are filled with old-fashioned encyclopedias and art books. And um, there's no television in there. And I do that because there's no, no reason to stow away. We'll do that as a group. But there's always a fire in the fireplace, and there's always warm, wonderful, textured blankets. Um, Kristen is going to be staying in the um, office, so she's going to have a nice wool blanket on her bed. But she's giving up her her bedroom because she stays there the most to her married brother. Aww, so the, the nice. grand puppy will be there, and the grand kitty will be there. They're all coming. Well, that's very delightful. So. I'm excited about I that. I think that's that's what we have to share with you today, is to enjoy the culture of times past and find that signature piece that you can design a room around. In this case, Hudson Bay. So, let's recap. Okay, so I just got this at the auction. I forgot to like bring him up, and he was like right here. Oh, Do you we have to get together. <laughs> we have to be together. So, this so is, she's just like, she's like, I, I just so, so great. Much. I do love him. I don't know I what it is. He's a 
doorstop. <laughs> and he's amazing. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just mm-hmm. got him. So, uh, I don't know. I feel like he might have to come home with me. That'd be so cute. Um, but bringing those nostalgic things, and we kind of say that all the time about going out and, and bringing the memories and the things home. You may not have your sled from when you were a kid, Mm -hmm. but you can totally go and get one and kind of evoke all of those memories back into your space. Um, Because I know back when, I don't know, at least when I was a kid, like yard sales and getting rid of all of those things when you kind of grew out of that were such a thing. My mom got rid of all my Barbies and I was mortified and she never got rid of another thing again. Good. And then I moved states and states away and on every visit it all came. (laughs) It was a truckload. Mm. Every, it's like, and my kids had all my toys. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But that, I don't know. I feel like you don't appreciate it when you're, you're like, you know, 14, 15, Mm -hmm. but then once you get into your twenties, thirties, like that stuff is important. And I'm sure when Kristen, you know, and Danny come home, those things that they remember from Christmas and and being at home, they're super important. And especially traditions uh, that the kids and I have, at least they're always really important. Like when we come, when they come down Christmas morning, I always take a picture of them at the top of the steps before they come down and see their presents. Like there's just those little touches and things that you can always uh, incorporate and do that make the holidays super important. And I think now more than ever, The holidays are really important um, to everybody. They really are, especially when we are so living in different states and all over the place these days. When we come together, we make it special. My kids still tell the same story every year. Um, We had a a big house, but it used to be a small house. Uh, We had a 2,000 square foot house that we turned into a 4,000 square foot house. And so there were three bedrooms on the first floor, and um, it what the hallway was off the living room and I gift wrapped the opening to the living room. So this the whole they woke oh, up. Oh I love that and they morning. went through it. Well because the gifts they got were out gifts. They oh, were package yeah. gifts. We had a bunch of package gifts but they had a drum set and a guitar and I didn't want them to see it early. Yeah, I love that. So I gift wrapped the opening. <laughs> and and makes sense. They yeah. opened up their bedroom doors and came out and could not see Christmas. So they sat in the hall waiting. <laughs> well, they still talk about this all the time. And then they had took the cat. <laughs> and they took the cat <laughs> by opening <laughs> and <laughs> took the paw. Because <laughs> they were determined to break in. And they waited till mommy and daddy were awake. Well, perfect. Yeah. yeah, that's a good story. I love it. But as far as Hudson Bay goes, they're on my bed now. Uh, we sleep with the windows open and two Hudson Bay blankets on top of us and we are totally A wool blanket cozy. if you don't have one. Uh, they're very warm. Yeah. So definitely something to put on your Christmas list. And uh, these ones are very thick. Yeah. And they come, and they don't just, you don't just have to get like their signature. They do, like Kathy said, they do have other options and other patterns and right. colors and all kinds of good stuff. Um, Pendleton is another manufacturer that has these stripings. And they have a Glacier Bay themed ones. And one of the things you can get are fleeces with these stripes. Much, very affordable way to get the, the effect. So let's recap a little bit. Um, colors that we used are typewriter, tricycle, Miss Lori mixed this uh, with some luckets in New Lady Sky, and mustard seed yellow. Our bed wasn't black, we actually painted it black. And we talk all the time about Miss Mustard Seed being really versatile and we're able to use it on a lot of different surfaces. So the bed was metal um, and we painted it in typewriter. So don't be scared of something that's glass or metal. You know, you can use it on all of those surfaces, just like the bell that we painted, that was um, a rusty metal as well. So and everything, everything we painted is black, but the black does work. And it not just works with like Christmas, it like just works in general. Yeah. You could do all white and have this really great metal it's black. It's considered bed. a neutral. Yeah. So, um, don't shy away from that. I feel like people get so bogged up. Not that I don't like white, but you know, like everything's gotta be white. Cause then everything matches with white, but everything matches with a lot of different colors. So don't be did, scared about that. Did you add bonding agent to the bed? Yes, we mm. did. Yes, we did. Um, just because we didn't want it to chip. Um, and we've talked about this a couple times. Uh, when you don't add bonding agent, you run that risk. 
Um, the bonding agent helps everything adhere and adhere to the surface so you don't get that chippy, flaky um, kind of look. Not that it wouldn't have looked nice because the metal was, was kind of cool, um, but we did use bonding agent. And then don't forget, um, you need to do something um, to seal uh, your surface. So either the hemp oil, the wax, um, or a top coat like the tough coat. Um, and like I had said before, uh, we have a, we're getting a lot more options and things that are food safe. So look for those things. Um, I know December 2021 is a date that we're shooting for for a lot of these new products. Uh, I'm going to get with Chris um, and Brenda and see if we can do a live separate from our design live um, that we can kind of go over everything that's happening and the colors and all of that so everybody can be on the same page when they're going to their retailers um, and even the retailers so we're all on the same page about you know what's happening and, and what's going on but I hope you liked uh, our Hudson Bay themed room we will get tons of pictures of the trunk finished and at the foot of the bed uh, so that you can see the finished product. Um, so we're super excited about our December 4th uh, event, which is our uh, favorite things event. I don't want to give all of it away, but I mean, we have the alpaca blankets. Uh, we got some things, I don't know, what do you do like for breakfast? Like we got uh, really special pancake mixes and maple syrups, things that would make an add to your holiday. Um, Most of this, yeah. yeah, that I think and make things really special. Stuffers. Oh yeah, that's a good stocking stuffer. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of things that we ordered that'll make really cute stocking stuffers. Yeah, um, and a lot of just just Stick different it out, teacher things. gift. Ugh. You get the pancake mix. You get the really good quality maple syrup. You put that together yeah. in this bow, a little bag. I had one teacher at the very beginning of the school year, she told every kid, I do not drink coffee. <laughs> do not gift me to coffee. Do not give me Starbucks cards. Because <laughs> that's what the go-to go is. Yeah, like doing Starbucks that. or something like that. So, so maybe we can even do a, a little segment. I'll talk to Chris about our... Um, giftables and uh, what, what we got for giftables we could do a little live about that um, on the page because Miss Kathy of course when you give her an array of things then she'll automatically put them into like bows and this goes with this and this makes a good gift for so-and-so so somebody's got to do it somebody's got to have that job yeah. so Miss Kathy is the perfect person for that job. you know milk paint makes a good little stocking stuffer Absolutely. those little those That's little so cool Absolutely. Tie a couple of these bags up and, I mean, even for a present. Like, yeah. you know, I mean, if you have somebody that's super creative in your life and, and likes to redo furniture, maybe they've never tried it. Um, but, yeah, definitely package a couple of those things together. It would be super cute with the bow. Look at Lori with her Amish hat and ideas. <laughs> I mean, we have I act like I never have any. <laughs> she has a good idea yeah. all the time. Um, she, of course, I mean... If we didn't have a Miss Lori, I don't know. You know, it's super be. cute. I'm going to be silly for a moment. But every time I get right here, it looks like you have little bunny ears with the skis behind you. <laughs> oh, and I was, trying to, I was trying to avoid yeah. it with <laughs> <laughs> Kathy. I was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll like, cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so join us. Uh, our next live, I don't know when. I have to get with Chris. I'm not really sure. But follow um, us on Facebook. You'll yeah, see. Yeah, you'll see. We'll post about it. Um, and follow Miss Mustard Seeds page. Um, to the, she always, Chris is great. She always posts updates um, on what we're doing next. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to theme it around the holidays. Maybe it'll be more of like a tablescape, that kind of thing that we'll do uh, for that. Because obviously we'll be eating Christmas dinner, which is super important. Um, I'm super excited about that and Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and the turkey. So yeah, that would be, um, a lot of people don't know how to set a table. And if anybody can set a table, Lori and I can attest, Kathy sets a table like none other. It's, it's beautiful. Yes. Yes. It is beautiful. It is, there's little treats. I mean. It's correct. It's correct. <laughs> it is on point as always. <laughs> Uh, so join us for our next live. We'll put that in there, and I'll get with Chris, and we'll do like a fun little uh, favorite things uh, live. So and when you can you're see. expecting your family this holiday, bring out things that are your memories and tie them into the room. Have conversations with your grandkids. Have memories with. <laughs> and wake up. <laughs> and make tons and tons.
tons of great family memories yourself. We had a great time today. And if you have any questions and you're watching this later, feel free to post them and Chris will answer them. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.